Well, I didn't actually really know anything about it until someone came to my school and talked about it, and it just seemed like the perfect thing to do um, in my gap year because I was looking to travel and like I've always wanted to go to China because I studied Chinese for a few years. It's very different living with a family than it is um, just like going to all the tourist spots. Like you really get to see like what the Chinese people are really like. It's interesting how Chinese tend to organise everything at the last minute and so they won't tell you about your what their plans are um, until like just before you meant to go and do that. So that was, um, it made it hard to make plans at first but once I got a schedule, um, it's been a lot easier to go out and travel and um, see the city. It's, it's really good if I have any problems, I can talk to a merchant and they will contact the family, um, sort anything out. Um, so like, for example, they didn't give me my schedule straight away. And so I actually kept on like talking to the family until they gave me my schedule. So I knew what was like when I was meant to be with Teddy and when I had free time. So that was really, um, really good. <laughs> my Mandarin wasn't very good to begin with. So it's been helpful to know key phrases to use. I've actually gotten really close with my teacher. We'll like, we'll go on random tangents and talk about culture. There's a lot of people in China who speak English as well. You can get around Beijing with just English if you need to. Like all the signs are in English, but I still think it's a lot better to be able to learn the Chinese. Teddy's 10, he already, um, is very good at English. The main thing I do is like help him with his homework and I guess the games we play are just normal kind of games, um, play with Lego and also if he's just talking to me and he says something incorrectly I'll um, correct his grammar. Having Ali in the house is really helpful. Um, so she cooks all the meals, um, she does all the cleaning, uh, She's really good to practice Chinese on um, because they don't really want you to speak Chinese around the child because he's trying to learn English. Yeah, so you, you don't need to know what you're eating, you just eat it, it tastes good. Um, this morning, um, my host mom and my I made me sushi, which was really good. Yes, um, I think my closest friends are people I've met through the Mandarin House School. It's really interesting meeting people from around the world, like a lot of people from Germany and France and Britain and America. It's really interesting getting to talk to them about like what their country is like. Another good thing with um, doing this with a Merchi is that they have the cultural programs every month. I got to meet a lot of people through that as well and learn how to make dumplings properly. Um, we even made dessert dumplings uh, and that, yeah, it was just really good. So we often go out for lunch. Uh, we'll try, like, been going to different tourist things um, like the Great Wall, the Forbidden City, uh, going to the Temple of Heaven on Friday. Trying new places each time, really. I think it's really important to, to be yourself, um, try and seem cheerful. I think um, the main thing that the host family is looking for is people who speak English really well. Go to somewhere like Hong Kong or Thailand or something. <laughs> I haven't actually worked it out yet.